New tonight at 11 as the warmer weather approaches, more people will be on the hiking trails and that means it's time to pay attention to these guys, something that's often hard to spot. Ticks are already starting to cause problems and unfortunately their bite can be deadly. Yeah, they're very serious, but they're also pretty disgusting mm -hmm. when you see them here. Today the state announced a man actually tested positive for the dangerous Powassan virus. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cologne went inside a state lab tonight to bring us more on that illness. These are three adult ticks, tiny but deadly. I found a tick of myself after a hike. Um, it didn't bite me, thank goodness, but I think after that I was more cautious. Heading outdoors might be part of your plan, so experts urge you to be careful since ticks are infecting earlier than usual. I lived in Vermont for a summer and thought about it a lot then, but didn't think about it today. Today, the state says a Wyndham male in his 50s got sick in March. He was sent to the hospital, later testing positive for Powassan virus antibodies. People who come in contact with this virus from a tick will have no symptoms or a very mild flu-like illness. In some cases, you can become quite ill with this virus and develop nausea, vomiting, headache, seizures, confusion. Prevention is key, especially since virus transmission could happen in less than an hour. 10% of those that are infected with Powassan virus and show symptoms, they will die. Covering your body with long sleeves is useful. Then dry your clothes under high heat to kill the ticks. Spray their clothes before they put their clothes on with, with pesticide in order to get some kind of protection. After their outdoor activity, it is important for them to do thorough check, tick check within two or three hours of outdoor activity. And it's not just humans you need to worry about. Experts say check on your pets and your animals for a full list of what you need to know when it comes to ticks. We'll have a full breakdown on the Channel 3 app. In New Haven tonight, Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Now, Channel 3.